Hello and welcome to episode 12 of our Ascaray campaign. In the last episode, we took a little province up here, uh, the province of Fang Ban, and was able to secure that even though Buvari uh, decided they would join the war and go like double over their force limit and eventually go bankrupt to try and defend their ally, which is uh, an interesting decision they made, but uh, I mean, it worked. They went bankrupt, so it worked for us at least. Uh, and then we also came down here and we took some provinces off of the southeastern coast, coast of the Gulf of Rahim. Uh, today, our mission tree is going to start pushing us, well, north and south. Uh, we need to take a lot of stuff down here. Uh, if we look, where is it? Uh, this, okay, so this mission is very important for us. We need to build up some buildings in this province, and then it will give us permanent claims on the Zhangji region and all Sertana provinces in the Luplin Rainforest region, which if we go ahead and look at those, uh, yeah, that's the entire south below us and this entire region up here, which we actually have to own to form our formable nation. Um, and the command owns some of that, so that's going to be fun. That'll be fun. Yeah, 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 that'll be fun. They have a 666 Great Conqueror. Cool, 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 cool. I didn't know that, but uh, I also didn't want to know that, so maybe I shouldn't have looked. All right, so we have some rebels that want to rise up here. Lots of rebels, in fact. Ping Hoi, Separatists. Oh, those are out on the islands. That's not good that's not good at all i would rather you not do that um hopefully they decide to spawn like here that's the hope that's the hope you go down onto there we need a debate on the high council uh one province gives dev cost we gain tolerance of heretics and heathens missionary strength doesn't matter for us um recruitment time is all right though i don't know if we need to build lots of troops i mean if we can afford them that'd be nice uh, let's just go for the tolerance of heretics and heathens. I can pay Republican tradition. That's fine. Um, grant army commissions. No, 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 no. Placate merchant guilds. We can placate the nobility. We can give them military support. Can I do that? Uh, we're ahead on miltech and we're not taking any mill ideas. So yes, I can. I can, in fact, do that. So I'll give them military support. Um, they can go for some diplo support as well. I thought I saw that. Whatever. One more works because of the tolerance of heretics and heathens, which is pretty sweet. Uh, now, for this mission here, I need a workshop, a temple, and a courthouse. So we have a workshop and a marketplace. So let's go ahead and start getting the courthouse built up. And then let's also make sure that we throw on the development edict here because we need to dev this up to like 20. I think it is. Unlocks another building slot that we need. Okay, uh, it's saying that we could make some states where at down here all right yep i mean we're gonna state everything right so might as well just get on to it get on to it uh we are integrating bim lao here we're at 31 percent we kind of need that to go up a little bit faster uh our vassal could use some help here and we will now in the province of bim lao i need to build some stuff now the question is is there an available build slot there right now no there's not uh, we have to build a ramparts here and a castle here. Luckily, the castle's already there. But uh, to build the ramparts, we're going to have to wait for our uh, annexation to finish. So it's not actually finishing right now. It's not It's not improving at all. Why? Overextension lowers it to 31.9. Okay, now it's at 32.2. It's just going really slowly. Oh, uh, yeah, pay the money even though I don't want to. Don't want to, but if that's what we gotta do, that's what we gotta do. Move you guys back down south. Feng Jay wants an alliance? Nope. We're gonna be um, eating you up pretty soon here. But I don't think we'll be doing that. Yeah, give me the prestige. We max that out. Feng Bonnie Separatists? Uh, shoot. Didn't even think about that. Also, we should consider building a fort here. Uh, Luke's claim. Because this is a river crossing. This river can only be crossed in a certain number of places. Right here which is already forded up right here, which we don't own yet. And I believe up here, you can just start to cross it regularly, if I recall. And then there's a crossing over here in this Delta. And then there's also just Bim Lao, or I'm sorry, Buvari's capital that you can walk through. Uh, so this is a really, really good defensive spot here. Uh, Cause it's also urban, which means we have plus one on all um, defense rolls or all rolls in general. So really, really good. Uh, let's go ahead and lock that fort in. Very important for us to have. Very important for us to have. Especially because we are going to have to fight the command at some point. And they have a lot of troops. 
I want to make sure we're ready for that. Now our truce with Buvari is up. That's fine. I don't really care. Um, I don't have a CB on them, and we have other places to conquer. Though, grabbing this state right here is really good. These two states would make us so much money. Uh, we'll have to wait till we annex Bimlao. Well, actually, I guess we don't, huh? Hmm. Do we deviate from the mission tree? Guess we don't have to, because Arwakel in here is uh, going to cause problems for us. Yeah, they always ally everyone. Everyone I always want to annex. Uh, we could do a reconquest war on them right now, but we'll wait for this mission to be completed, then we'll go for it. Let's get the temple built up, and that was it, right? It's just uh, workshop, temple, courthouse. Uh, workshop, temple, courthouse. Perfect. Perfect. But who do we want to go at first? That's the question. Why do I want to go up here first? What's your percentage for being annexed? 81%? Yeah. Uh, nope. Sorry, bud. You're about to get annexed. Not going to take me long to annex you. Uh, so let's go ahead and get our troops into position here. Uh, after these rebels spawn up, I guess. Down. You guys can move up, though. Get you ready for the war against the Harpies. Make sure we do well with that one. Go. Go ahead and fight them. And they actually got land there because I was not prepared. That's alright. That's alright. Rapid development due to humans? Uh, that's great. Go ahead and do that. I can take Miltech ahead of time. Uh, oh, I need to develop colonialism, don't I? Oh no, we just have to embrace it. How much? 2,000. Okay. What's our crown land at? It's at 27. Everyone's loyal. There we go. We can start making our way up there. Purchase an age ability. Um, this will actually kind of be useful in a moment. A little bit. Yeah, the rest of these don't really matter. I mean, this could be nice. Ah, uh, institution spread. Institution spread. I'm here sitting talking about how I need more institution spread. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I actually want to take that or not. No, I'm pretty sure I do. Pretty sure that is a good plan. Where else do I have rebels? Oh, also here. Okay. Well, these guys can just do rebel hunting. Oh, decadence comes with age. Rip. He's no longer a 666. He's a 665. Well, that sucks. That sucks a lot our good general up here that's with uh oh that's our four C's general actually hold on let's bring our cannons up north uh yeah might as well go take that keep our inno and let's go for let's see here probably want peasant mass musketeers yeah it gives us another offensive shock pit yeah sure 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 he gets up here, and the mission is complete, and then we are ready to rock and roll. Uh, ooh, this gives me unbalanced tech. Not a fan of that one. Not a fan at all. Is it worth the Diplo points, though? Probably. Probably is. Money is more important to me than the Diplo at the moment. Alright, and we have a mission complete. The Matriarchs of the Kai. The Binhrung Matriarchs hold a similar view of the past to us venerable elves. Their bejeweled queens from ages long gone remind them of their history, even supposedly imparting their ancient wisdom. We will show them that their own dreams of unity are not so different from ours. So we gain just so many claims. Wait, what? Huh? What? I should have gotten claims on all this. Hold on a second here. Hold on. Regions. Hidden Kai. Lupulin Rainforest. What's up with that? What's up with that? Oh man. I didn't get as many as I thought I was going to. Huh, okay. Well, let's do this the old fashioned way then. Start building up a claim. You get ready, and then we're gonna go to war here. Oh, we don't even need everything in the Shi area. We just need these states. Which I could do pretty fast. And I should. Go get all this before the command can get access to it. That would actually be huge. Okay, declare on you. You bring in Oshan. Do I have a claim on them? Nope. So it doesn't matter. You have course. Uh, not enough. Okay, uh, let's declare for that. That looks good to declare for. So there's the harpies. Um, let's go ahead and combine you two together. Put the four siege on. You move there. You get this guy. You move. That's hills. Do we want to attack harpies and hills? Ah, they're mercs. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Just mercenaries. 
have them occupy this, get that ticking war score going. We have restored a temple complex in Fanbang. That's very nice. That will make people very happy with us, and that is a good thing. We will quickly roll over all of these guys. These wars are not going to be difficult. Not in the slightest. Okay, you swing back around and onto uh, this dude. We'll continue to expand evermore. There we go. <laughs> Alright. You can go ahead and give me max money, please. More reps. You can also pillage your capital. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I will. For a couple more development, I think it's worth it in this case. Alright, so much for harpies being fast, because we just absolutely thrash them. Uh, that's fine. Coalition, smolition, that's what I say. Alright, go ahead and fully annex all that. What does that take our overextension to? 97. Ooh, okay. So we will hold off on any more wars for the moment. <laughs> I was planning on uh, just changing my wars and taking all these guys out. I don't know, it still might be a good idea. It still might be a really good idea. Line development... Is that 25? Is that what I said? 25, 14, 6, yeah. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, they're the Harpy Separatists. Let's go ahead and have our mercs deal with them. Keep saving that manpower even though we're at max. It's fine. I'd rather just send the mercs in. Let the mercs feel the pain. Uh, Teleni Rebels, okay. Sure, we'll get those in time. 43% there. Do I have a Diplo Rep Advisor? I do, so that's as fast as it's going to go. I also have the nobility thing, right? Yep. Yeah. It's all there. It's all there. Now, I do have a couple of vassals down here. Um, but we could feed a lot of this dude's land off to them. That way, I don't have to hold it myself. Or I could just fully annex them in one more. That would also be good. I mean, that when you see an option like that, it's kind of hard to turn it down, right? It's like, yeah, makes sense. Uh, let's go ahead and just build a couple more troops. Our economy's doing all right here. We have to at least 20. 20 to 10 sounds like a, a decent stack for us. Okay, run down here. Shouldn't matter if there's a fort there, so it won't make him too mad. Can't be too upset about it. People are not happy with us up in the north, so we should really secure the south before um, focusing in another direction. But, uh, I mean, it's so risky to just leave these provinces out for the command to take. It's so risky. Because you know he's going to... The command's going to come and take it. Like, it's just the way it is. So we've got to take it before he does. And he's no longer at war. It's a target of a coalition, though. Did I join that coalition? No. Why? Oh. Well, that would definitely... Yeah, nope. That would definitely make it difficult to join a coalition if I have zero aggressive expansion against him. That would, uh... Yeah. Can't really do that. That would be a little bit ridiculous. Uh, okay, let's get claims here. Right, and revoke that. No need to build that spy network up. And we're almost done with some of these, so I think we should begin the next wars. If we get overextended, then, well, we get overextended. That's just the way it is. So you are going to trade... Oh, I can take out Lot to Kong? Well, that's Simferong, actually, sorry. I could take out Simferong as well. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's bring our boys on over. Or I can just take this non cobbledgerized Yeah, that's probably the better idea. Yeah, because these are all different. So, let's just take it non cobbledgerized How much development was it again? I clicked on the wrong guy to look. 14. I mean, <laughs> Is that worth fighting all the other people for? Oh, we have a truce with them, so we can't actually go blitrice them. Well, that is favorable to me. All right, move in, boys. <laughs> Take them out before the command does. That is a Great Conqueror command. This will unfortunately give us a border with Great Conqueror command, but, I mean, you can only avoid that for so long when you're playing here. Uh, yeah, let's up our stability a little bit. That's good. Very good. Man, we just blast these forts. What's our siege ability? I feel like it's incredibly high. Uh, it's only 15%. I still feel like we're obliterating these things. No, it's it's just regular. Oh, no, it's only 29 days. What in the world? Okay. Uh, take both of those. Fine. Go ahead and core them up. 
This is 110, but these will finish here momentarily. Oh, I, I even got one of the events. That's sad. I mean, I deserve it. I went over 100. That's how the game works, but it doesn't make it any less sad. There we go. Going down to 56. Perfect. You are up next, Mr. Green Man, if I can not click my groups. Uh, who are you allied with? Uh, them? Them? Oh, you're allied to be on Faye. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Don't really care. Uh, gotta do what you gotta do, right? We gotta fight him, we gotta fight him. Uh, move in to here. You guys, just wait. We're gonna need these 31k, though, I think. Yeah, we're gonna need these 31k. Against, uh, Beyond Fang here. They're bringing in 30,000 of their own, so. Definitely want to make sure that we are doing alright with that. We have another Jade Rabbit Miracle. More manpower recovery speed and more recover army morale speed. Very nice. Not super necessary at the moment, but you never know when it may become necessary. And that's the ticket. You never know when it's going to become necessary. Alright. We got Separatist. Decadence comes with age. He loses one Diplo. Bruh! He's 177! He's not even halfway to being as old as he can be. Stop! Stop killing him! Give me my points back! I want a 666! I want all the Monarch points. All of them. You cannot take them away from me. This is terrible. We move down here. Oh man. Scary command. This is gonna be so many wars. It's gonna be so many wars. But we shall free the people of uh, the command's territories. We shall not leave them out to dry. I would never do that. I would never do that to the AI. Uh, let's just... Let's not do that. Let's just get access through one Shia, please. <laughs> Thank you. And let's just walk over to his capital instead of going all the way around the command. Uh, we got boys down here. Oh, they have a war wizard. That's fine. We should be able to get this done pretty fast. Uh, especially if they're busy elsewhere. Just go ahead and split and go siege things. Make it quick. Make it snappy, boys. Make it snappy. We haven't got a wall breach. That's what I'm talking about. That is some snappy, snappy stuff. Alright, you have a leader. Let's send you down. Old mercs. Okay, all that is being besieged. Learning of an elder. Thank you. Let's get that mill back up. 42%. Nice. Is uh, Beyond Fang willing to give me max money? Nope. Alright, we'll the white piece. Why? Ongoing battles. Well, that's fine. Quickly just spread out and uh, siege him down more. Teach him the error of his ways. Oh, they engaged here. Ooh. Regional nobility. Challenge, Askeray. It's in our capital. Um, okay. Let's get our guys back here real quick. We'll fight these. I've already declared war on someone. Okay, interesting. Uh, okay, go ahead and crush them. There you go. Stupid nobles. You think you can just rise up like that? Absolutely not. Wow, they really don't want to peace out. Do I not have their capital? No, I do. They're just insane. <laughs> I mean, that's... I don't know of any other option. Their capital's besieged. I'm besieging the rest of their country. They're like, no, I want in. We're fine. Just but a flesh wound? Uh, yes. Thank you for the money. Uh, Karo Deer Raisin Zwier. As our influence over local trade has expanded, more and more merchants have moved into Askeray. One such trader, an elf named Karo Deer Raisin Zwier from Arwakellen has begun to shift their power base from the port city into our own increasingly elven capital. They bring with them many connections in local trade, most of which are members of their own family, both elven and half-elven. It is clear that many sense a change coming on the horizon, the coming sunrise. Let wealth flow and the lands be repaired. So we gain a cheaper trade to efficiency guy, and uh, we gain more trade power in our account. Nice. I really need this guy, though. No wrong, the able needs to be there. Um, so, no, sorry, I'm not going to hire you, but maybe later. Uvari has embraced colonialism. Uh, can I sell colonialism to anyone, by the way? I doubt it, considering we're not allied to anyone. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind, people are very interested in this whole colonialism thing. Yeah, that's a big Eliana. Um, I don't know who's going to give me the most money for it. Probably you. 
3.9. Down loot? 3.1. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, sure, Jens. Jensen. Why not? You're gonna get it anyways. Like, it's gonna spread to him. It's already spreading. Well, because of me. But it would spread to him anyways. But I want the money. Beyond Fang. Still on high war enthusiasm. Bro, you are insane. You're nuts. Literally nuts. You're being rolled. Your entire country is under siege, man. Still on high. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna stay in here for another month or so. Occupy another province, and that should uh that should get him out. But dang. He just refuses to peace out. He's like, nah, bro, we're good. Don't need money. Don't need anything. Fire country siege down? Nah, it's fine. Let's get it back. There's a little bit more money in our pockets. We have more rebels that want to rise up. Not exactly what you want to see. We have a dead leader. Let's hire a new one. Oh, you're pretty good. Let's walk back here. Engage that army. Say goodbye. Walk back over here. For 54%. If we can get this guy out of the war, that would be nice. Peace, you have zero troops, man. Zero troops. Can I just walk you here? I can. Uh, he may attack me, though. There. Nope. Come on, man. I've got you fully occupied here. Fully. Thank you. Beautiful. That brings up to 75%. What am I missing? Who am I missing? 79%. Ah, this little guy. Okay. Why don't we pop up there, say hello. Also bring you down to actually, you know, fight and, and do things. Oh, for a second there, I thought I lost one of my mercs, but no, we're good. Like, no, I need them. Uh, we can take tech. We could take admin tech. We're not going to, but we could. No. Oh, God, I thought I needed that province. Whew. That was a scary moment right there. Where's my... Okay, there we go. Really? Come on. Come on, game. Give me the siege. Give me the siege. Okay. I'll stop asking. Maybe it'll work then. There we go. And that is 100% war score. Just take all of that. Coalition doesn't matter. Give me some money. I want to vassalize them. No. Perfect. Take all of that. And honestly, keeping all these forts here, while a big monetary investment might be worth it. Uh, we'll see what our income looks like. Because this is all urban, so, like, I guess the command, if they come in here and get stuck on all of these urban forts, that is very good for us. That is extremely good for us. Uh, go ahead and start coring all of that out. Uh, we do need to go into the next war, though, which is against these guys. We have no allies. Well, rippy you. <laughs> Rippy dippy, man. That's unfortunately just the way it's gonna go. You should have found some friends. Should have found some friends. And you don't have a friend in me. But don't worry, your people will be represented in court. That's what you care about. Another general dead. Wow, a four, five, four, three. Let's go. I mean, it's sad to lose the uh, four seas general, but I, I'm not gonna complain. Not gonna complain. We have an advisor we can get. The uh, Diplo rep guy died, which means we can hire this cheaper trade guy. Sure, buddy. Sure. Sounds good. Next rebels are where? Are they all up north? Looks like they're all up north for the most part. Alright, fair enough. I'll just keep you down here for now. Actually, no. We'll bring you back into our land and uh, we'll start drilling with those. They're not doing anything too important. Well, actually, we may need them. Yeah, we're going to need them. Against these guys. Because we have to fight one Shia next to grab a couple more provinces. Okay, there's that. Give me your land. Thank you. Still not too mad with us. We can core that up. We're very close to our governing cap. That's fine. Uh, yeah, a lot we could state up, but a lot we will not yet do. Uh, you're allied to Jilin, who's allied to these guys? Okay. Who are you, else are you allied to? Guaranteed by one Shia, so I'll have to... Yeah, that's fine. You move there, and you move here, and we'll just wipe him out. One easy point. 
Lots of expansion today. Lots of expansion. Uh, we declare on you. We co-belligerize you. Attack, attack, attack. Okay. Easy enough. He'll siege that down. You don't have any cannons, so we're not going to be over second like that. I gotta leave like three more. Yeah. It's fine. You're gonna siege this way before those rebels get that. I hope. God, I hope. That'd be really bad if we didn't. Please, game, don't do that to me. It'd be very embarrassing. Go ahead and take that. Naval equipment manufactory. Wow. Wow. Fancy. Send you up there. Hire another general. Awesome. Engage those rebels. Sale of titles. Uh, no thanks. I would rather go to uh, Stab 3. Thank you very much. Do appreciate it. Come on, game. Don't do this to me. Don't. Don't just do this to prove me wrong. Okay, thank you. Why are you attacking people so much? I have enthusiasts. Were you a militarist? You are a militarist. Huh. Interesting. That's right. Could take that, but we won't. We walk up here, take care of them. Uh, the Cheshire Fleet visits Kaodim. Uh, I already read this one. So it the the flavor for each of the ports stays the same, except for through someone's mission tree in which you can change things. But uh, for the most part, it just stays the same. So our merchants are not thrilled with these guys showing up. Right? Am I crazy here? Am I crazy here? We've already seen this one. Yes. Yes. Just want to make sure. Another profitable visit. Time to watch my economy go burr. Huh, extra 10 crowns. We'll complain. We'll not complain. Alright, you walk over here now. Take this. 99%. I was kind of hoping that I wouldn't get it there. Uh, just like, I don't know, revel in the fact that that happened to me. In a non-important war. They always happen in important wars, but in non-important wars, no, no, no. You get those sieges real quick, like. Okay, we'll grab these three. Uh, people are mad, don't care. Don't care if they're mad. Alright, so now it's just one Shia that we have to go at. Um, which we will be doing. As, yeah, shouldn't be too long of a war, in all honesty. Um, because we only need these provinces. We might take more. We'll see. How much... Are they war score cost? 195? We might just take 100% war score here. Just for the, the heck of it. Okay, you move there. Imlao Noble Rebels, it's fine. Knowledge sharing has been terminated. Let's get that back online. With you, I guess. Sure. Any amount will work for me. Uh, we have that. We need to build up some more manpower buildings in specific places. Specific places. So, where was it? All provinces in the Sertan region. Yeah, we do need to do that one. That requires us to annex Bimlao. There was one that I saw where I needed, yeah, barracks in Righteous Path provinces and the Professionalism. But we're actually getting up there on the Professionalism. About 13 to go. Um, so let's go ahead and get those barracks running with religion being the most important thing, which is kind of whack. Um, yeah, like you're really good. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Just bring up the religion again. Yep, yep. Uh, where else? Just looking for really high manpower provinces that I can get a lot of value out of. You're pretty good. You're pretty good. Um, you're alright. You're really good. Almost missed you. And I think we've built enough now, but I'm just going to keep building. As manpower is pretty dang important. I would like more. Sure, sure. Uh, yes. Yes. Cancel that. Build there. Cancel that. Build there. Um, cancel. No, do that one. I'm trying to find the ones that were not so good. You know what? That's fine. Oh, never mind. These weren't, these weren't the correct religion. I doubted myself. I should have doubted myself. There. Uh. There and, and there. No, and there. Cool. Okay, that should finish that mission when we get to 40% uh, professionalism now. Okay. Uh, we are at the 30 minute mark though, so I think we're actually going to have to hold off for the One Shia War until the next one. Uh, we'll go up there, we'll take a lot of land off of One Shia, then 
I'll own everything that I absolutely have to have from the command. Well, that the command might take in the north. And then I will clean up our, our borders a bit. We got to take out Semferong here. Um, we own that crossing, we own that crossing. I'd like to go at Buvari. Uh, we can do that with our Kellen. We can take a couple of provinces off of them. Specifically, these would be nice to own for defensive purposes. Um, and then, yeah, we can like fully annex these guys in a war. We have to move fast, though, because they're developing. Then we can finish off the south, and then the north, and then the Ascaray, and then the Mission Tree, and it's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. But for today, I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.